In the meantime, I'm going to take out these grills because I want to try something with them. That was way harder than it looked, but I got it off, so I'm going to shoot this with Rust-Oleum's metallic dark steel and then hit it with matte clear. And I just want to try something different. Most people go with gloss clear, but I'm going to try this and see how it comes out. But first, I'm going to sand. A quick tip, if you leave your spray paint in warm water for a couple minutes, the results will come out much better. So here's the final outcome. I did two coats of the dark gray and two coats of matte clear. And this is how it came out. I think it came out pretty good. So now I'm going to put it back on. I've also wiped down this the black part of the grill with alcohol to make sure it's all clean. So now I'm gonna put it back together and put it on the bumper. Here's the final product. I think it's gonna go nicely with my silver silver arrow. I like it a lot better than the chrome. I also sanded down the Saab logo. I'm just gonna repaint it black. But first I have to do some last minute repairs on my front bumper and then I'll be putting these on. So while I'm waiting for the bottom part of the bumper to be bonded. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the grills back on. First I'm going to clean the area before putting it back on. Here is the end result of the grill. I think it came out really good. I personally love it. It's 
no longer chrome and it's subtle and I really like the slightly darker gray in contrast to the silver it's very subtle I really like it and as as we speak the bottom part is getting JB welded together so that'll be for another video but yeah for this video uh, the grill's done um, I also blacked out the Saab logo I just uh, I just hit it with flat black and I think it looks good so thanks for watching I'll see you guys on the next one